Hello guys and welcome back to yet another AMC video. There will be a number of ups and downs, and we'll get an answer to the question of whether or not we're in a recession. Because if we're going to start hearing a lot of companies say, hey, we're anticipating that in the next quarter or two, we're going to reduce our earnings expectations, that indicates that companies are feeling the pressure. And if not, if they say, hey, we're already seeing recovery, that could be an enormous event for the stock market for the cryptocurrency market, and for everyone, because we'll discuss the Fed shortly, but we'll show you everything you need to know. Also, AMC Update. Adam Aaron participated in a Twitter thread, a Twitter trend thread, a Twitter trend thread, and a Twitter thread. It is tough to tell. And just a few tweets discussing a number of topics regarding the reverse split that require our attention. And we'll discuss briefly what transpired there on Friday. As the day comes to a close, we have not spoken since Friday, when that occurred. Therefore, all I ask is that you give me a beautiful smile by hitting the like icon repeatedly. Consequently, the present state of the market is positive. At 41.49 for the S&P 500, the Nasdaq is at 13,000. The United States 100, correct? US 100 index. There is evidence that it is at 13,000. It is growing closer and closer to the peak it reached in August of 2022. The VX is 17, which is extremely low, correct? We haven't been this low since January of 2022, when we were at the zenith of the stock market and at an all-time high. Consequently, the VX has not been that low since then. And this is just, you know, because of the bank profitability, which reduced a substantial amount of market anxiety. However, it was odd because if banks are doing well, the Federal Reserve may be more aggressive in raising interest rates, which the market may not like. Tomorrow morning, we will have additional bank earnings, including Schwab First Bank, Pinnacle, and other banks that service First Bank. All institutions correct? And this will also affect Bank of America and Goldman Sachs the following day. Then we will have a much clearer picture of the future of the financial industry and that could radically alter the Fed's current situation and future actions, and this may have an effect on the stock market. If they continue to raise interest rates, it could be a needle in a haystack, right? No, a thorn in the side, and I believe it is a Hebrew proverb. That is why I said, wait a second, hold the wheel. I don't believe that is a common phrase in English. Then it would put an end to, you know, the type of rally we are witnessing here. However, it is very intriguing. We also have Netflix, Tesla, IBM, LAM Research, and many other companies releasing earnings this week, including AT and T and American Express. So large, big companies such as Apple, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon won't emerge until a little while later. But this already explains what's what, what's occurring, and what's transpiring. And I believe it will serve as an important, you know, guiding beacon here. Where are we going if you're interested in, say, earning season trading? Potentially, our partner Moomoo offers you 15 free stocks when you sign up. However, the app also has some really interesting earning features, so investigate that. You can also trade options equities 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, with pre-market and aftermarket support layer, level 2 data link is provided in the description. I will receive a small commission, so thank you. So what transpired with AMC? The 10% decline in ANC stock price occurred out of nowhere, right? It was actually doing quite well. I believe that it was in the green. It began, and then suddenly, it fell, and AIP began to explode. So it appears that there were rumors about the court case pertaining to the magistrate. They were waiting to hear what she would say. I believe it's a woman. The judge, and presumably, news reports indicate that the court case will soon be resolved and we will know what is occurring. Right? Conversion sediment receives a new request for review. Right. And that sort of threw the AMC into chaos. And we observed that minus 10, or 11%, was the absolute minimum. Then, towards the day's conclusion, we witnessed a slight improvement. Um, I believe AMC will proceed in this manner. There will be a perpetuation of volatility regardless of what information is forthcoming. We're observing an extremely high short interest of 26, nearly 27%. Actually, the loan shares decreased slightly. I believe that when AMC showed up, some of the shares were returned, which is why we're seeing a slight decline here. 
Consequently, this could affect the subsequent FINRA statistics. However, it will be intriguing to see what transpires there and you know, how things progress. We will continue to monitor the situation there. It is imperative that we review Adam Aaron's tweets, as he recently published some. So he asserts that some misinterpreted. The 1 for 10 reverse stock split was approved by 87% of 14 March voters, indicating that we are seizing 90% of your shares. You neglect that the share price multiplies by 10 at the time, equivalent to exchanging 10 $1 bills for $110 bills. In any case, you retain $10, and some say that you are diluting the stock. And if you do this, the short squeeze will be harmed because there will be fewer shares, and it will be simpler for short sellers to close their positions. It may be simpler, but right. It will be considerably more expensive because the same amount of money will be required to purchase one in five $50 shares. 10. Right. However, it is much simpler to locate a $50 stock. Right. Because there is a you know, there is significantly less. Alternatively, it could be the inverse. It is much more difficult to locate that $50 stock because there is a much smaller supply in circulation. So it's somewhat complicated, right? Um, he then stated in your comments that some are concerned that after a reverse split, short pressure could lead to a price decline. However, you overlook the fact that it is equally simple to abbreviate. Similar to a stock price, which is $30, a stock price is $3. A reverse split has no bearing on the price of the stock afterward. But what people are discussing here is the squeeze, the possibility of the enormous short squeeze. And if there are significantly fewer shares, it may be more difficult for them to acquire them. So I am uncertain. I can see why people don't like it, as AMC will likely dilute the stock further after the reverse split in order to raise funds to save the company. However, it could potentially harm the opposite. People are so terrified that as soon as the reverse split occurs, they will short the stock like mad. Right. If I recall correctly, for every one share, you receive seven and a half. So the ratio one to 10 does not apply. Consequently, some individuals view this as a sign that the settlement will not occur. I'm uncertain about that. Right. You are aware that many readers of Adam's tweets attempt to decipher his meaning. However, this situation and what's happening with AMC is intriguing, and we'll see what this week brings for the stock market and AMC in particular. Leave your response in the comment section below. Do you infer anything from his tweets, or are they merely his explanations with no underlying information? What are your thoughts on the stock market? Will the S&P 500 sustain this, well, incredible rally? Will it reach the level that I am at? For the past, oh, three or four months, I've been working hard to return to 4300. Will it occur this week, the following week, or never? It will be extremely intriguing to see how everything plays out. Remember to click the like icon. We appreciate your viewing. I hope to see you again soon. And as I always say, let's make a fortune.